Okay, so we've got Avi, we've got Peter. This is going to be round two between the two of them. Last time ended with Peter conceding all points, but uh, apparently he's back now with a new argument, so they're just going to hash it out. They're going to debate the uh, coronavirus measures. Uh, I'm only going to pop in if it's necessary for a technical reason. Other than that, we're just going to have everyone else muted and let them talk. All right, uh, go ahead. Hey, how you doing, Peter? Hi, Avi. How's it going? What's up? Good, good. Um, I saw yes. your post on Facebook. I'll link it in general chat. Yeah. Uh... I'll just read it. It says, quote, hate to say I told you so, but I told you so. All the folks telling us to stay at home so we can get this over, quote, unquote, soon. Never had a clue what they're talking about. Two years of lockdowns will be apocalyptic. We've seen the damage done by not even one month. They better find a vaccine cure or other solution soon, because otherwise we should lift the lockdown and get back to normal life. And whoever dies, dies. No one is important enough that we destroy our civilization with years of quarantine just to save them. And then you post an article from CNBC, and I'll link that in general chat over here. Yeah, so basically, uh, last time we agreed, yeah. I think the point was... I'm just posting your quote in general as well. Yeah. Hold on. Okay. Which one? General? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I posted your your quote. Yeah. It's just the quote that I read. Yeah. Well, okay. Do you agree with that quote? Uh, yes. The point is, uh, we are, I'm going to make a utilitarian argument that strict lockdowns for long term can cause the harm of the lockdown exceeds the cost of basically doing nothing. Like, did you read your citation? Uh, yeah. Let me just... Which one? The one I posted on my Facebook? Did you read the one you the citation you posted on your Facebook for the lockdown existing for two years? Yeah, yeah, I read this one. You did? Yes, so some... The one that CNBC? Yeah, so there is talk of keeping some... Did you read the... Did, did, did you read... Wait, wait, wait. Did you read the paper? The article, yes. Wait, wait, I didn't ask if... You know, I'm not asking if you read the article now. I asked if you read the publication. No, I read the article. Hold on, let me open it. Okay, did you read, did you read the publication that the news article was based on? No, I actually have a different publication for the economic costs. Did, did you, you read it? Did you... Wait. Did you read the article? Did you read the publication that the CNBC article is written on? Or did you just no, read the CNBC I read, article? I read the CNBC article. Okay, can you tell me where in the CNBC article says the lockdown will exist for two years? No, it says it's a possibility under consideration. Can you tell me where it says that it's a possibility that the lockdown will exist for two years? It's in the article itself. Okay, can you show me where in the article itself? Okay. So you are disputing that it might be in place for that long, right? I don't think the article anywhere implied, nor did the publication, because I've read both. I've read both the publication the article is written on, and I've read the article. Um, n neither of those cases did it, did it say that, the, that there may be a two-year lockdown. Okay, and a study published in the Journal of Science on Tuesday, a team of epidemiologists at Harvard assessed blah, blah, blah. Social distancing measures such as school closures, bans mm -hmm. on public gatherings, and stay-at-home orders may have to remain yeah. in place for at least the next couple of years. That's one of the key points. You understand, you understand, you understand what the, the distinction between that and the lockdown is? What is the distinction? Yeah, so lockdown means that you can't travel. There's no interstate travel. It also means that stay-at-home orders are essentially indefinite. There's no, it's not a temporary measure for as long as the lockdown is, is, is ongoing. And if you read the publication, nowhere does that quote, by the way, appear in the publication. The, um, 
the actual paper that this publication is based on. So stay-at-home orders are not mentioned anywhere in the actual publication. Not one time does that... Not, Stay at home orders not one time appears in the publication. Would you like a link to the publication? Or you, I mean, they link it there. I have it on my laptop, so. Just to be clear, we're talking about projecting the transmission dynamics of SARS CoV 2 through the post pandemic period. That's the publication yeah. we're talking about. Yes. Does stay at home orders appear? Okay. Does, mm. does the art. Where. Can you show me where in the article does it say stay at home orders? will last until 2022, or that a lockdown will last until 2022. I'll wait. Yeah, I'm reading the article. I'll just point out that it might have been a good idea to read the article I before you make that post with that comment. But okay. Okay, it mentions blah, 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 requiring social distancing measures to be in place between 25% and 75% of that time. Mm -hmm. Do you know what so? Do you know? Do you know what that what social distancing measures is? Social distancing measures, yes, maintaining distances between people and banning large groups of people. Banning large, large yeah. gatherings may or may not be part of it. So it mentions yeah. that the intensity does, it may vary. It doesn't, it's not a lockdown. It doesn't mean people can't work. It doesn't mean people can't leave home. It doesn't mean there's a, an indefinite stay-at-home order. It means social, social distancing measures is, has a bit of vagueness in it and has different intensities associated with it. Do you know what kind of frequency would be expected with social distancing? According to this publication, Pretty so first sure. of all, like just before we go, before we go to that question, actually, yeah, yeah. so so yeah. just to answer the first question, can you show me anywhere yeah. where it indicates that there would be a lockdown for two years in this publication? Can you show me anywhere in the publication where it says that? No, not in this article. No. It says so okay, which is the article? Yeah. Just yeah, which is the article that that's based on, right? So so just to be clear, so your Facebook post, which said that I told you so. There may yes. be a, a two-year lockdown. So that was a was that a misunderstanding or is that a misreading? Well, I guess it wasn't a misreading because you didn't read it. But was that just confusing what social distancing was with uh No, I'm going by the with CNBC lockdown. Article. Yeah, but the CNBC article didn't. <laughs> yeah, but you, but the CNBC article is based off a of publication. Yeah, let me check something. Yeah. And you didn't read the publication, which doesn't say anything of the sort. Okay, so what would you envision it would be like social distancing? Well, Can you just you answer my question before before you ask me a question? What question was you were asking? Mike, so yeah. The, can you show me anywhere in the publication where it says that there would be a lockdown that oh, may no, extend no. to twenty twenty two? Oh, okay. Okay. No, no, so no, then my question no. was, yeah, the question I asked after that was, so when you and your your Facebook, so do you agree that your the what you wrote in your Facebook post was unfounded? Uh Perhaps so, based on this article. Okay, cool. Yeah. Do you think okay. it might be a good idea to, to retract that post? Uh, possibly. It depends on what uh, what do you envision it would actually be like. 
Yeah. So <laughs> if you look at the, well, I mean, we can we can do an exercise yeah. in actually reading the the, the publication. Okay, so that, that's no, let's talk about uh, it. So can, what would you envision can, the actual social distancing would be like? Right? So if let's you read if you read the publication, yeah. if you read the publication that you cited, what it it does say is that there's going to be some social distancing that's going to be intermittent. And it, apparent, and it gets, if you look at figure six, there's the intermittent social distancing that's in the shaded areas. It doesn't, be, it's not specific. It's not a lockdown. It's not specific on the intensity of social distancing. Nowhere does it say it'll be a lockdown. And it's intermittent. It's not a constant. It's not this, and it gives different scenarios. It's not a constant it also gives different scenarios based on surge capacity i believe and cumulative infections yeah, it's not yeah. this yeah so it's not a constant mm -hmm. social distancing so not only is it not a lockdown but it's not even constant social distancing that seems like cycling about every month to two months yeah yes so, up and down. Yeah. or depending depending on which model depending on which on which yeah. it is uh, so yeah, it without it depends um, with seasonal without, forcing without seasonal forcing um yeah. and then and yeah so the the point being is that nothing that this publication is saying is saying anything different than what we've said last time which is the hammer and the dance there's a hammer i i envision that lockdown which we're not even in a lockdown right now in my opinion but I imagine that this degree of locking down will end Maybe like around the lockdown. You can say so. Around, I would envision it to end around June, July, and after that point in time, maybe even earlier. But after that point in time, um, if it's later, I, I hope it's not later. But if it is later, then I think it would because we're just not locking down hard enough to be able to get under a certain threshold of surge capacity. But after that, what's what we're going to be doing is we're not going to go business as normal now. It's not going to. There's not normalcy that's going to happen. We're still going to have to do social distancing. Um, there's no question about it. And yes, we're going to have to do that for quite some time. We're not going to have a lockdown. We're going to be able to work. But yes, we're going to have to take precautions. Okay, but would that consider like would the would they open up schools and universities? Would there be like Uni school closure university? I believe almost. I believe that's listed separately from social distancing in this publication. Where is it? Which I can't find anything about school in the article. Many other countries are adopting the terms measured. Me measure terms, quote unquote, social distancing or physical distancing, closing schools and workplaces and limiting the size of gatherings. So social social distancing is a broad term. It doesn't necessarily include, so social distancing, the required duration, intensity, and urgency of the report depends on how many individual pandemic waves unfold. How to prolong social distancing. Okay. Let's see. Pretty much. Okay, yeah. So it doesn't specify that schools will need to be locked down. It just lists that as one of the possible one of the things that um, other countries have done. It doesn't actually say social distancing means schools need to necessarily be locked down. Also, um, practically, it would be. How would you have social? No, distancing? not necessarily. There could be. You can have the same way they're doing reporting with social distancing. You can have classes set up in such. Either you can have remote classes. You can have or you can have classes such that they're the chairs are um, six feet away from one another. That's there, there's creative ways that, 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 that you could put it in. Oh, no, but we actually, how have do you know that's schools. not? Gonna, wait, what? No, because we defunded schools. We are actually increasing the size of classes because of our government. So we can't have like students. Well, six you feet can put it. You can put it. Street. Sure, you can. You can have it. Wait, you can have it in a gym. What are you talking about? How many classes are we gonna have in the gym? The school has one gym. And have it in. It could, I, I understand, but there's ways of doing. It. You could retrofit it. There's retrofitting. Why is that? It's not hard at all. No, it's pretty hard. But more to the point is that the, more to the more to the point more to the more to the point is there's no evidence to suggest 
there's no evidence to suggest even remote schooling, that remote schooling, the teacher actually teaching the students remotely is any less effective than schools actually being there these days with the technology we have. Uh, I actually have friends who are teachers. They don't like it at all. Do you have data? Do you have data? Do you have data or do you have friends? No, I have people who work as teachers. I don't have actual overall data, but... Do you have data or do you have friends who work as teachers? No, here in Ontario, I have friends who work as teachers. Okay, that's... But but that's meaning... That's meaningless. That doesn't mean anything. If you have data, we can... We can talk about that. If you have friends who work as teachers, um, that actually doesn't mean anything. No, it does. It's anecdotal evidence. Well, okay, but that, yeah, do that's... you think anecdotal evidence should be relied upon? Do you have any other evidence? Oh, I can have my anecdotal evidence on the other side. Sure, I have friends who are teachers that think it's great. Well, not over here, not in this part of the world. I don't know, maybe in your part. Oh, I'm sure, there. okay, and if someone else has an aunt. And if someone else has friends who are teachers that say the opposite, then you'll be like, oh, wow, that's a great. What about, what about universities? How would that yeah. be? Like Univer- oh, I think even more so for universities, even more so it would be better for them to <laughs> even more. So I think it would be better for them to be remote and it would make less of even less of a difference. And I have many well, university friends who, who well, are actually well, in well, university who, who, well, who really like it better. Why are- practical components like how would you yeah. do or online lab sessions for example uh, dude you know dude, hmm. <laughs> okay so yeah there are certain hands-on things that would be harder to do but I, the other part of that is you can the that requires less a lot of those t- parts of the classes like lab work with physics and chemistry actually required less crowding anyway because there were sessions that were in individual rooms that were already further reasonably far apart each station was reasonably far apart from each other in the first place that's not good even if people go in just for the lab work just for the lab part of it it's not going to be a very hard logistical thing to do those were in small groups in the first place maybe there were 30 people in one in one room tops it's already under some 50 limit rec, uh, regulations in certain countries it's above a 10 man per in, per room regulation in some other countries but the point being is that it's not hard to retrofit that at all. That's not going to be a, that much of a challenge. How about another issue? How yeah. would you have social distancing and have people meet friends or do social events? You can do that. Yes, yeah, so you can limit. You could limit the size of the event. But again, this is not a lockdown. Would, okay, so that. But how would that keep just, the virus? Just to be clear. Okay. Wait. 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 Yeah. Wait. Just to be clear. Yeah. I asked you if you think anecdotal evidence should be relied on. Did you, did you agree or disagree with that? I told you that's the evidence I have. I mm-hmm. do you think do you think that evidence should be relied on? Unless you have any other evidence, that's the evidence I have. So do you think that evidence? evidence but it counts, does, it's more do you than think? Nothing. Do you uh, do you think that as long as the anecdotal evidence you have is the only evidence you should rely on that anecdotal evidence that's the question in the absence of any other evidence yes it's yeah okay so that's 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 crazy yeah 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 Yeah. it's not great so so it's not just it's not just no so it's not yeah yeah yeah, i get it i get it no yeah so it's not just so that's it's it's so low on the bar that it, it really shouldn't even be considered evidence because an anecdote, there's so much, so much that goes wrong with an anecdote that it's completely unreliable. It really is. It's, it's bait. You might as well, it's not even clear if you, it may be better than having nothing. It's so unreliable that you may be in a better position actually just reverting to 50 50, especially in an unknown like this. Um, especially in the face. Especially like, I mean, let's just, let's just look it up. I mean, look, uh, virtual classes versus, let's see if there's any data on it. But, like, regardless, there's, there's, regardless, like, it's so weak. It's so weak of evidence. You might as well. um, I'm looking looking some stuff up as well. Yeah, we can, we can, yeah, so it's a, let's see, we can see if there's outcomes on this. Um, but regardless, um, that's this, none of this is a lockdown. So you can see it on the lockdown.
Did you find anything about it? Yeah, there are lots of things. Nothing um, nothing shows any anything convincing either way. Uh, two recent meta examples on online versus. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I'm finding something. Okay. You there? Hello? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Um, For some reason, I can't hear you. Hold on. Controlling. Can you hear me? Hello, hello? Oh, your voice is very low. Hello? Yeah, can you hear me? Hello? Yes. Okay, I'm posting uh, learning out outcomes in an online versus traditional course. Um, reactive enrollment in online classes tripled over the last 10 years. Efficacy of online learning is unclear. Two recent meta analysis report higher exam grades for mm -hmm. online versus traditional class. This body of research has been marked by two recurrent limitations. And then they do their own study. Um, all exams are talked by instructors. The the central independent variable is method of delivery of on, of content online versus traditional classroom. Controlling for other construct, there is no significant oh. difference between exam scores. Okay, I posted in general. Oh, sorry, I can't see. Can you hear me? Did you post it? General, oh, general. Fine, yeah. Uh, let me open. Yeah. So basically, yeah, so previous studies like indicated study of sixty-four people exams were produced. And, sorry, but by the way, this is in this is in this is in um this is in just to put this in context. This is in a, this is on top of the what you're seeing here is in on on top of two meta analyses that previously had consistently reported higher performance with online virtual exam classes rather than in person this is a fairly small study that controls for certain things that the other studies didn't control for the body of evidence even if this is the only thing we had by the way it would be better than your anecdotes but the body of evidence right now indicates that either virtual is better than in person or there's no difference or they're or they're the same which is what this publication indicates. But the previous, lar the previous larger meta-analyses on this actually indicate that virtual is better. Okay, great. Yeah, so yeah, now yeah. we have evidence. Okay, okay. great. Yeah. So now, now we have evidence better than your anecdote. Wonderful. We take that off the table. Okay. So my point, my point, first point of contention with you was it's not a lockdown, it's social distancing that's going to be needed to be intermittently implemented. So do you concede that you were, that you were wrong when you wrote that there was going to be a lockdown for two years? I would concede that point. You concede we cannot maintain a lockdown okay. for two years, no matter what, right? Like even if oh, I don't. No, I, I don't. I don't concede that. I think maybe we. I, I have. I have no idea. If if the situation required, maybe we might be able to. I don't know. But all I'm saying is that no one says this is happening. No, but well, I'm asking if if we fail, do you think it should happen for two years? A like lockdown. Yeah. The if if now. if we if the the way it's going on now, I don't think we'll need a two year lockdown. But if the pandemic was, if there was a an infectious agent that was bad enough and it was spreading far enough and the things that there were works it was really all that then yeah i think we would be able to do it 
Okay, let's say no. I'm not asking if a pandemic is bad enough. I'm asking if this pandemic, if we fail. No, no, I don't think. I don't think. I don't think that we will need to lock down for two years. Okay, let's say if we do, like let's say we fail to flatten the curve. Okay, so how if long, we if... how long do you suggest we should keep the lockdown? <laughs> I don't know. Like, what do you, what do you, what is that? What does that mean? If we, if we, if we did, if we did need it, then we would. What is the question exactly? Like, let's say, for example, the curve doesn't flatten, so it keeps. If the curve doesn't doesn't flatten, I think yeah. If the curve doesn't flatten, I think it's because that if the type of quote unquote lockdown we're doing, which is not actually a lockdown. Wait, so you're saying yeah. the lockdown would not be effective, so it would have to be tightened more? Yeah, yes. It would have to be a, a strict form of a lockdown. What we're doing right now is not a very strict lockdown. Yeah, it's it's not, not. In fact, it's not even It's not even a lockdown. Where I, I, don't, I wouldn't even call it a lockdown, what we're doing. No, it's, it's more like an 80% lockdown. I, I don't think it's 80%. I would say so. Like most of, it's almost mm. a full lockdown, minus essential businesses and maybe people going out for... Yeah, if you, if you can, if you can go out, <laughs> if you can go out whenever you can leave your house, you can walk out of your house whenever you want it at any time. There's no restriction on the time you can walk out of your house. There's no restriction on your travel. You can, from not on a federal level anyway, you can drive your car from. You can do all of these things. No, no, no one has has anyone been convicted? Are you aware of a single conviction? For violating social distancing policies, not an arrest, a conviction. Yeah, people have gotten tickets for just uh, convict. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about a ticket. I'm talking about someone who's been convicted, convicted so in court. Be convicted, what do you Has mean anyone gotten convicted? time? Has anyone gotten any jail time? I don't think so. The issue of fines. No, I okay. Don't think the issue it, of yeah, but fine. Yeah, bad. this is. A, yeah, no, no, no. Okay, so you can put no, fines again. Like all these, yeah. all of these is I understand. All of these are on the scale of how strict your lockdown is. Whether you can leave your house, what time you can leave your house, whether you can travel from state to state. If you violate the policy, are you going to do actual time or are you going to be slapped with a little ticket? All well, of these things it's matter. Fine. It's all of all, okay, same. Okay, regardless. Yes. Or are you going to be slapped with a thousand dollar fine and jail time? All of these things go into the sliding scale of the strictness of a lockdown. You're not seeing anything right now compared to what other con- some other countries have done. You'd be lucky. to. We're not kissing the toes of what some other countries have done. If the lockdown doesn't work, which, by the way, I don't think it's working well enough. I think we should actually should increase stricter measures of lockdown. I don't think we're actually locking down. Really? Really, yeah. If you look at the... If you look, how would yeah. you do it? Yeah, so sure. Spe- specifically, I would ban in- inter- interstate travels, travel bet- between states. Um, I would make I would make that kind of travel illegal on a federal. Um, I would make it illegal to walk outside without masks, just like it's illegal to walk outside without clothing. We actually don't have enough masks to supply. No, I, I understand. Masks. Provided provided supply. No, I understand. Provided supply. No, we're getting we're getting a lot more masks. But provided supply, and, and that includes cloth masks. It doesn't have to be a medical grade mask. Um, the current Speaking CDC which, guidelines. I want to ask you about this. Is there any evidence for effectiveness of the cloth masks? The cloth masks? Not. Like there's no RCTs on the cloth masks. For regular masks, yes, there is evidence. Yes, the do-it-yourself yeah. one where you put the piece of cloth yeah. over the, and over again. The, is there any evidence? New, I, what I can tell you, in, the, for RCTs, no. There's not There's not a whole lot yeah. of evidence. There's not a whole lot of evidence for that. However, it's, it's almost certainly going to be better than nothing based on what we know about how the fibers are oriented, how, the, how, how thick they are, how many fibers per square um, meter and the droplets um it's it's conjecture a lot of it but yeah. at the same time anecdotes. that's better <laughs> no 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 no. Yeah. that's not an a- anecdote is far worse than that yeah that's that anecdote i i know someone who wore a mask is not i'm not saying i know someone who wore a mask mm-hmm. now what we do have is we do have randomized controlled trials um, oh yeah, of surgical yeah. masks. I think and N95 yeah. masks. we do have yeah, we do we do have yeah. randomized control trials for that. So we do have very high level evidence for that. Yeah, and masks are becoming more and more prevalent 
and they they are it's there's no question if you're if you're compliant with the mask it's very effective yeah but no now, for stuff like bandanas or whatever, or whatever i'm not no we don't have we don't have it that being said that being said the weight of the evidence extrapolating from that it would i wouldn't it would probably be better than nothing yeah. and yeah. just breathing like in educated guess yeah yeah yes yeah. um but again like i I don't think we even need to go there because the prevalence of surgical masks are actually increasing very rapidly. In New York, everyone's walking around with a surgical mask. They're not walking around. Have you, in, in the hardest hit state in the United States, people, I, I'm there all the time. They're not walk, people aren't walking around in these cloth masks. They're walking around in surgical masks. Okay. So the other, so just to be clear, so you're going to, so you're going to take that Facebook post down because you completely didn't read the study. You said they were going to talk about a lockdown for two years. You're completely wrong. Um, the other thing that you've said that we may take issue with, um, the best strategy going forward is to slowly infect people under 40 with no underlying conditions with COVID-19 one by one. Develop yeah. that herd immunity strategy, starting with our strongest. I know what a bunch of people. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> no. oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I know a bunch of people on my friends list who would be the first in line to volunteer. To be infected. It's actually not my post. It's so we post. can so we can speed up the quarantine <laughs> process. Also think about it, if you get the virus and recover, you're like God now. You can do yeah. anything, go anywhere. It's actually not my post. You'll be friends, of the immune a special the class of people able to walk freely. <laughs> the other th and then Wouldn't on top work? of on, no it actually but uh, no? on top of on, no walk. on top on top oh, we'll get There's into no, it. Hello. Hello. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, on top of that, on top of Mount Stupid, we have the cherry on top of Mount Stupid, which was, um, then the lockdown is moot anyway. If you can't build immunity, then a vaccine won't work. So might as well get on with life, unless you suggest yeah, so we may remain in permanent quarantine. What do you disagree okay, with? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's There's so many people... things. So many things. Okay, okay let's, let's, let's talk through. about it. So yeah, let's yeah. say, for yeah, example, yeah. people get the infection. No, and I, I understand it. Immunity. Yeah, yeah. yeah so... so so immunity, so in the reality, immunity is, people do get immunity, but the question is durability of immunity with coronaviruses. The question is how long the immunity lasts. If it yeah. lasts something like six months, which is somewhere around the area of our, our, our durability of immunity for various colds, then you need a bi-yearly vaccine for immunity, assuming that the vaccine gives the same durability of immunity as the natural infection. That's every for that's a bi yearly vaccine. That's doable. That's a doable yeah, thing. People can get bi yearly because, vaccines. Let's say because I read some people actually got infected and they got tested for antibodies and they found no antibodies mm -hmm. in them. So that was okay. So that was yeah. So do, do you have that study? Because I I think I know which one you're talking about. Do you have uh, that one? No, I don't have it right now. You don't. Okay. I read it. So there was a small fraction of people who didn't, and it's likely. It's likely that also, if it was recent, it's it was also possible. It was within the what I recall about a study doing that is that it was within the bounds of false negative, the expected false negatives. So it's not statistically significant. No, it was just within the bounds of the expected false negatives. So, so they if you do have antibodies, yeah. but they're just yes, probably, yeah. Yeah, likely, likely they do. But if they don't, regardless, most of the people did. If we're reading the same, also, it's far better to do a bi-yearly vaccine until herd immunity builds up. If it and if it and if it doesn't, uh, at least have still have do... things trickle in. It's but far. How how would herd immunity go up if you have to do it continuously? Mm -hmm. Then sure, I understand. If, people will it's not far better to immune. do it. It's far better to do it. It's far better to do it. Even if you're not going to have any any herd immunity, it's far better to do a bi yearly vaccine than to just have everyone just decide to get herd immunity for six months by getting by infected at the yeah. same time. <laughs> yes, like you imagine what happens if everyone tries to get infected at the same time. Also, what okay, what will happen is you'll overload the healthcare system. You'll overload our surge capacity if everyone tries to get infected at the same time. No, I'm not talking about everyone. I'm talking about like younger and healthier people who have. Yeah. Yes. They over. Symptoms. They will over. Yep. They'll overwhelm us. Absolutely. They may not die. No, they, the young. The young don't die, but they absolutely get hospitalized and they do get into intensive care. 
No, I'm talking about people who have mild and moderate symptoms, which is like 80%. You don't know. You don't know. You don't. Dude. Yeah. You don't know. You don't. Do you have a crystal globe and know who's going to get mild and moderate symptoms to not require hospitalization ahead of time? I don't have a crystal globe, but I have statistics. We're okay. So how do you know? Okay. Guys. So dude, so dude, if yes. you're going to ask all the young people to infect themselves, how do you know that they're going to fall within the category of people who are not going to have hospitaliz hospitalization requirement and symptoms? You don't know everyone. You can't predict that. Yes, and based on the statistics, yeah, yep. If 20% require hospitalizations, do you know what that means? No, 20, that's 20% of everyone who's infected, not 20% Every, every If 20%... If 5% of the young people require hospitalization, do you know what that means? That's not what the statistics show. The statistics what do the that, statistics show? How many, what percentage of young people require hospitalization? Give me the age ranges, since you're making them. I don't have the statistics in front of me, but I remember it was like. What is it? Tell me then. Like, no, it was, it was pretty small. I what is it? Eighty percent of the infection was mild to moderate. You tell me. You what? It, no, no. You you're making the claim. You're the one making the claim. Okay, I'm asking you a question now. So what? What is? No, 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 no. You made you no. You made a claim. It doesn't matter. It doesn't I'll matter. have you back off. You question. No, it does matter. If you make a claim, you're expected to substantiate it. You're okay, claiming you that you can do this in. No, I chat. Yes, I do. I'm ch I'm I'm okay, asking you to provide. Wait. No. 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 Okay. You make a claim, I'm asking you to support your claim. You're the one, the burden of the proof is, you, are you familiar with this, this statement, the burden of the proof is on the one who makes the claim? Okay, I'm asking you right now. Is the claim accurate or inaccurate? I'm just asking you. It's inaccurate. Twenty Age distribution of U.S. COVID-19 hospitalizations, 20% are between 20 and 44, 18% are between 45 and 54, 17% are between 55 and 64, 65 and 74. Yes, so they are more likely, so more likely to get hospitalized if you're older. However, because we have so many, the a sheer magnitude of young people we have are, are larger, 20% of our hospitalizations are between 20 and 44, 18% 45 and 54, 17% 55 and 64. If you tell all the young people to infect themselves, we're in huge trouble if they do that at the same time. That's a broad age category from 20 to 44. Okay. Do you know that? Do you have anything more granular? No. I remember seeing those numbers, okay. yes, but that was a broad category. Okay. Does, if you, well, unless you have something more, do you, unless you have something more granular, I'm going to go based on the data we have, as you've said. We have the graph in terms of the case fatality rate. I think it was like zero. I'm not talking about, we're not, no, 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 no. Don't try to talk about, why would you even talk about something like that? How well, We're not even on that topic. It's completely irrelevant. Why would you even say that? We're talking about overloading the hospital. We're looking at hospitalizations. Why would you even bring up case fatality ratio? Why would you even say it? Because it's relevant. Case fatality ratio. What's the relevant? Relevant. what's the relevant what's the relevant no 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 no. Because it's if, 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 no, if someone gets work. COVID, if someone gets COVID, yeah. If someone again, again, we're looking, we're trying to look at the best way to gauge to gauge how many hospitalizations they're gonna be. We're so we're looking at the hospitalization rate. What we're not trying to do right now is we're not trying to look at how many people are gonna die from COVID. Now yeah. we already have the data on hospitalization rate. We already have that data. No, we don't we have don't granular need... data. We have data, we have, from, we have data from, from 20 all the way to 44. That's... 20 to 40, that's fine. I'm okay with that. Your statement was under 40. We're not missing a whole lot. Your yeah. statement was under 40. It's not my statement. I agree with the sentiment. The I don't best agree with quote. Numbers. It's the base, the base, I'll quote this. The best strategy yeah. going forward is to slowly infect people under 40. Guess what? We have data from 20 to 44. 20 to 40, 20 to 44, unless th that four years over 40, are you saying is what needs to be cut out and that will change it so drastically? No, I'm not saying the four years would matter. I'm saying, what about the category, say 20 to 30 or 20 to 25? We have, we have, dude, Do you that's going to be subsumed. That's going to be, again, it doesn't matter because the initial statement you agreed with was under 40. So even if we talk about 20 to 35, your statement that you were 
that you were in agreement with would also include 30 to 40. I don't know why you need more granular data. It's not, it's not relevant. It's not applicable to make any difference with the statement you mentioned. You said under 40. So we have a category. Okay, so it's a statement. You, were you in agreement with it? As a possible scenario, but not okay, not great. Numbers. So now, not so now, so with respect, categories. so with respect, so with respect to that statement, we actually don't need more granular data. We already have it. Yes, but what about a different statement? Great, great, young great. So, so okay. So, in, in terms of in terms of more granular data, yeah. In terms of more granular data, I'm not aware of it. Now that. It, so we can't. So you don't know. I'm not. Either, I'm not. Right? You're agnostic. Sure, we. Agnostic. Sure, it could. Yeah, okay. It could. It could. It could be. But there's no. But based on everything we're saying, it. So it no. Wait. 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 No. 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 Not, no. I absolutely can. That statement doesn't require. Again, the statement I'm talking about said under forty. I absolutely can say it about that statement that it's that it's wrong. All yeah, the data no. that we know of indicates yeah. that it's wrong. Yeah. Yes. And you, okay. Great. Now, with regards to another statement, could it be possible? That the other that another age group won't that it would be so drastically different. Sure, the problem, but that's also wrong for other, another reason. It's inevitable that if we say, so let's say we have twenty to thirty, twenty to thirty will infect other people inevitably. They'll infect thirty to forty. They absolutely will. Not if you have social distancing. No, even if you have social distancing, they will. Social distancing, look, social distancing doesn't mean you're infection proof. It just means the likelihood is lower. But if you multiply that by a base probability of something much higher of if people are actively trying to get themselves infected, then even if they are social distancing, you're just back into a lockdown scenario requirement scenario. No, not necessarily. Not if you like geographically isolate them, for example. So you're going to geographically isolate everyone over 30. Wouldn't that be better than a full lockdown for two years? <laughs> you, you're, you're waiting for how are you? Right? Okay. How you're are you? How are you going to? Wait, 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 wait. Absolute. Absolute. No, okay. If so it's necessary. No, 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 no. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Actually, excuse me. First of all, I specified that a lockdown for two years only if in a situation that we need it. I don't think we're in that situation. But. If we are in a situation that we need it, um, here's why this strategy will fail. A geographic isolation of but based by age is yeah. almost not only will it, it would require um, if you don't have the population, which you don't, you are having a population that's not going to agree with what the government says. You're going to have to enforce it. In order to enforce that. I'm almost convinced that you are going to have to have more resources used just to do that than to do a full lockdown. And here's why. You are, why? Yeah, so in order to isolate, geographically isolate 30-year-olds and over, you're going to need to do a census on age for all your populace. You're going to need to have a method of enforcing it based on age. Think of all of the things that are going to go into that. How are you? How in the world are you going to have an implementation? Now it's easy to do it for everyone. Everyone stays in their house. Okay, everyone stays in their house. It's a, it's you don't have to do any data huge data mine. You don't have to dig into everyone's age. You don't have to dig into everyone's age who interacted with another anyone from another age. You don't have to do all of these things. It doesn't. It's not going to cost as much money. Hold on. It it's, doesn't. It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be enforced. You can do it voluntarily. Then you're not do no, but you're not going to do it. No, but you're in a country that's not going to do that voluntarily. They're just not. They're absolutely as, not. As opposed, as opposed to a two-year lockdown, most people will go for it. If you have no, no, no. Over with, if you have, as opposed to a two-year no, lockdown, no, no. Again, so here's the other. No, again, like, dude, if you're taught, you're not going to be. It, it's only going to work if you can enforce this. If you're not going to, or people do it voluntarily, which they're not. You're going to you're going to take all the 30, 31, 32, 33 year olds, and you're going to geographically isolate them. No one's no one's going to buy that. Everyone over thirty. Sorry. How old? How You're old are you? you have just no curious. Data. How do you know? You're just speculating. You're right. I'm speculating. And wait, wait, hold on. Option versus no, no, no. Hold on. If you mm -hmm. give them, if you give people that option versus say two years of being stuck at where, home. Where are you gonna? Where are you gonna put them in? Where are you gonna put them? In? The, where are you gonna put? Every, you know that's 
Okay. You, you might as well geographically isolate the young at that point. You're not even geographically isolating the old because it's just so much broader of a population size. You're talking about like virtually the whole population, except for like this, this, your, most of your population you're talking about isolating at that point. If you're talking about 30 and up, the overwhelming majority of your population <laughs> is going to be in isolation. You might as well go on a full lockdown. Whatever efficacy you're going to gain at that point, to risk it being lost by everyone under 30 just going around ca trying to catch the disease. What, what benefit is that? Because they develop herd immunity. You don't know that. That's speculative. You, you don't know that they're developing herd immunity and if that's durable. And even if they are, here's the no, Even if they are, here's, 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 here's the problem. The yeah. problem is, if they are developing herd immunity, they are, there is always going to be some crossover between their developing herd immunity and them infecting the, those who are older and going to get hospitalized. You're never going to have a perfect system that's not going to have crossover. It they, have to be perfect, there there will be, I, know, I understand it's not, I understand it's yeah. not, but based on everything, but based on everything we know, when we have people who are trying to infect others, who are trying to get, catch the infection, they are inevitably going to spread the virus to the people who are isolated. And once that happens, the problem is, unless it is perfect, once that does happen, guess what happens then? What happens then is the pool that you've isolated away from the young the virus is going to start spreading there because the older people are like, I'm just going to interact with older. I'm just going to interact with older people. Okay, fine. But now there's crossover and now the, it'll just, it'll just exponentially spread in that area. No, this is kind of, you can, you can test and quarantine them the same as the, dance okay. So the dance. problem, so the problem with that, yeah, I agree with to, mass test and quarantine, but the problem with that again, but the yeah. problem, but the problem with that is, that this virus has a long asymptomatic period. That's the issue. That's why this virus was so su successful. Right but now... Same, but that's the same right, issue we face right, anyway once we lift the, the lockdown. Right. So yeah, yes, yes, but the, pro but the difference is... is the, right? difference, the, difference so the difference is, is will be... The difference, excuse me, the difference is yeah. surge capacity. The difference is surge capacity. You have to have a strategy. The, everything is going to be centered on a strategy of not exceeding surge capacity. The problem right now is right right now right now in New York we're actually already over surge capacity. I can tell you that, that right away. We've exceeded it. Our ICUs have had to expand threefold. We're over surge capacity ended all a while ago. We need to get to a certain threshold of surge capacity before we can lift restrictions. Once we do that we can. The other problem, here's the other problem. Wait, hold on. Once you do that, we Go can ahead. what? Like, do we can we can lift restrictions. We can lift we can lift restrictions. And yes, we're going to do the testing, the tracing, quarantining of people who are who are yeah. sick. Even though none of these things are going to be perfect. The other reason, but people hold on, who hold on, so that doesn't defeat the argument that it can be done if you haven't reached the surge capacity, right? If you haven't reached the surge capacity, so if a different area, then, like yeah, New York, no, the, the, the yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. If, if you don't, the yeah. problem is that the problem is when people try to get, try to infect themselves, they're more likely to reach surge capacity either by being hospitalized themselves or or by be or by infecting others that are that are that can be hospitalized. Now, twenty to forty four, twenty to forty four may um, it looks like twenty percent of our hospitalizations, but even if it's disproportionate, and even if only 5% come from the, t the 20 to 30-year-olds, and that 15% comes from the 30 to 44-year-olds, even if it's that split, we're still messed up. We're, that, we still can't handle that. We, we wouldn't even be able to handle the 20 to 30-year-olds, even if that was the split. You would have to show that the split is so ridiculous, which you can't, and we're not going to take that risk. But that will also assume that all of them get sick at the same time, right? That which is what you're trying to do. You're tr you're you're advocating a position that you're trying to get them sick at the same time. You're saying everyone no, who's no, over. No, no. Who's, let's no, read the quote. Yeah, at the same time. No, oh, so what is your same, position? Like it, is no, your position that same, it's? Wait, hold on. It will not mm -hmm. be like at the same day. Like not everyone will get an injection on the same day. Say, for example, you just 
let them mingle. So maybe someone will get infected, then we'll go to someone else gradually and slowly. Right. Like we can't, we can't, we can't. Months. Yeah. And we, where we are now, we can't, we can't have that. Now, yes, we're going to inevitably do that with the population. We're going to eventually re- lift off restrictions of the population when we're under surge capacity. When we're over surge capacity as it is, we're not going to do that. We can't. We can't afford any more surge capacity overall. Other, other problem. Ready for the other problems with that? Yeah. Okay, so the other problem, the other step on the stair of Mount Stupid, is that even if you don't die, even if you don't die, um, and even if you just get infected, um, there is a complication, and even not necessarily even hospitalized, but there is um, morbidity associated with getting this infection. By morbidity, I mean potential for long-term damage, such as scarring of your lungs. Lung capacity, um, there's pulmonary fibrosis, which affects lung capacity in COVID infections. So yep. even if you survive, you may not come out to be the same person. You may not be able to do things that require an increased lung capacity. You may not be able to be as much of an athlete. You may not be able to run as much. You may not be able to uh, sustain as much stamina. Um, we don't. We haven't confirmed that this is long term, but based on everything we know, it probably will be long term because fibro- scarring typically doesn't unscar. Yeah. Pulmonary yeah. fibrosis. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, read, other, I read about this. Yeah, yeah, I know about this. Yeah. And this happens in but, young people, by the way. This happens in young people. Yeah, but I haven't, I haven't found any statistics. Like, is it something common young, or something an exceptional or young healthy, young healthy people? Oh, I can. So it can happen. Um, hold on. You can see a mixed. So there's two different varieties. There's like a reticular pattern and there's a mixed pattern, but either of which could indicate fibrosis. The mixed pattern can be around 30% to 50%. Um, and the reticular pattern is rarer. And that can be around, I think, 1% or 3%, depending on the group it was looked at. Here's a study I'll post. And breakdowns are in the supplementary data. That's the load on my page. Okay, here it is. I'll post the appendix. So So this wasn't just a young group of people. This was a, a healthy group of people as well. There, are, there are a, a minority of individuals in this cohort had pre-existing comorbidities. Um, and they still have lung findings. They still have, were found to have abnormal lung findings. And the patterns that could indicate scarring being either a mixed pattern or a reticular pattern. Hold on, I'm reading it. So depending on the group, it can range, depending on which stage it is, having a reticular pattern could be 3% to 13, 0% or 3% or 13% or 3.7%, depending on which stage of the infection you are. A mixed pattern, um, if it's non-symptomatic, can be 0%. If there's symptoms, it could be 14%, 10%, 33%, or 13.6% um, for to have a mixed pattern finding on CT. So... Those things are compatible with pulmonary fibrosis. So that's one of the risks you're taking. Mm, yeah. One of the risks you're taking is permanent scarring of your lungs that you're asking these people to take instead of waiting for a vaccine. The other, the other uh, issue, and we don't know how long-term this will be, is, your, is the testosterone, actually, in men. Uh, and we don't know if it will still affect fertility now. But there's actual data that the, 
the hormones, the luteinizing hormone to testosterone ratio um, is altered following COVID infection. Is that something that's short-term you know about that? or long-term? We, we don't know. We don't, we're not sure. Let's see. Effect of SARS-2 infection upon male gonadal, upon male, male gonadal function. Doesn't any stress reduce testosterone? Like I know, for example, a severe diet can do it. On short term, that's not, no, no, short term. That that diet. Um, I'm not. No, not every infection can do that. That's specifically um, COVID infects. Um, the issue is that there's a protein called ACE2. Okay, and COVID yeah, has a spike long. protein yeah. that infects. Yeah, you know where it also is. ACE2, the blood ACE, You know where ACE2 is also. ACE2 is not just in the lungs. You know where it's, where else it is? Testes? Yep. Testes, including spermatogonia, Leydig, and Sertoli cells. So, there's data coming out now showing that um, men may have their gonadal function impaired. And we don't know how long that's going to last after a COVID infection. So it could be temporary or permanent. We don't know. Yes, we don't know. It could be a temporary or permanent gonadal function impairment. That's also what you're asking them to risk. You know, it's not just me. There's actually a proposal in Quebec to re. Okay, well, I'm not. Okay, I'm not. I don't care. I don't care about how other people, what other people no. are do, doing. I'm not, I'm not talking to them. I'm talking. So, so are you saying the so other? So the, yeah. So the hold on, yeah, yeah. So the on. proposal is to reopen schools so that children can develop herd immunity. Yeah, that's I, that's really really stupid. I, I would be in my position. It's insane. Like really? an incredibly stupid thing to, to to even suggest. Yeah. The prim the premier uh, actually is on board somewhat. He says it's a possibility to go. I, I know. I, I I get I yeah. I get it, and I I maintain my position that is mount stupid. Like, like it, it's a sick position. Not just it's stupid to the degree that it's sick. And I, I would just want to see all of these things addressed. I just want to make, again, like, there will be a time when we'll ease up on lockdowns. Uh, there, there, and that time is, gonna, is going to be sooner than expected. Regarding schooling, again, there's so. no evidence. There's no evidence that in-person schooling is better than remote schooling. If anything, some evidence suggests that remote schooling is actually better in terms of performance than in-person schooling. Maybe if it's done then, properly. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay, you can say that. No, 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 you can say that. Excuse me, you can say that for in-person schooling as well. So again, on the on the net, there's it's either the same or better for remote schooling anyway. So even if the lockdown is ended, if there's some evidence that we should actually be moving towards uh, less in-person schooling regardless. Um, the other problem is there's so, there's so many problems. The, even if, even if um, durability of immu herd immunity doesn't last long, um, it doesn't follow that, we should, that the vaccine wouldn't work. In fact, the vaccine, there, there are some aspects of the vaccine that would be more effective, such as being, being able to administer it um, multiple times without an infection are you saying vaccine yeah. can last longer than immunity from infection no i'm saying you can i'm saying you can end you can end up last making it last longer by by using boosters you can make end up making it last longer than a natural infection by giving a an additional that with yeah, a vaccination like, strategy like a thing yeah so it's like, yeah. it's gonna, like, gonna be like a flu shot, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, with a va with a vaccine like strategy, that is how you are able to make it last longer than a natural infection. You're able to, and you're able to do that without repeatedly infecting. Yeah, and then finally, that, there's and then and then finally, yeah, and then finally, based on everything, well, not even finally, but based on everything we know, the the amount of people that we're going to see hospitalized from this strategy of getting herd immunity is we're not going to be able to handle. And even if we assume a very small percentage of people from the granulated 20 to 30 group, we still wouldn't be able to handle that. It's just, and, and then finally, there's 
it's not just mortality. There's morbidity that mor- morbid morbid risks, risks regarding morbidity that you're asking these people to undertake, and it's just it's just stupid on all fronts. And I really wish you would. And I mean, look, just very clear, like when you made that post, it was so obvious that you didn't actually do the research and you didn't look into the article. You didn't look into the publication to see that it wasn't even talking about anything related remotely to what you were saying. It wasn't talking about a lockdown at all. And it basically what it was talking about was everything that I was saying to, in our first conversation about the stra- what the strategy would be. It was nothing new. There was literally nothing novel about this. But yet you post this and then you just put all and you in, in, yeah but, go ahead. But you agree but you agree with me that it has to be lifted soon anyway. Like it, it will it, well no not it doesn't have to, it will. It's not like we, it's no there's how no do you know, wait, how do you know no, like you can't you don't have a crystal ball either. Like don't I don't I don't, but I, no yeah. no, I suspect make, it. I suspect it. I suspect I'm making a I'm making a projection. I'm projecting that it will. I'm making a pro I'm making a pro yes, I'm making a projection. But by the way, by the way, if if it ends up having to be the case, there are certain infections that end up having to be the case that will that we may need a longer lockdown. I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. But if we if there was if uh, if that was the no, case if that was the case excuse me one second if that was the case we could we would lock down for longer and that would be okay. We would be it's a cost benefit hard. analysis and there are certain costs that would make it a benefit to lock down longer. But then, what are the costs? You're not factoring in the costs of a long-term. Lockdown. Sure. So, what do you? What do you, What costs are you concerned about? What about the cost of people's mental health? People with depression increase. Do you suicide. have any data? Do you have any? Do you have violence. any? Do you have any data for any of those things? No one has data on it. I, no one. Has okay, great. So I don't. So maybe. So I can speculate so, that there would be less. Sure. I don't know. That's what. What do you mean less? Less suicides, less, less domestic violence. I can speculate in the opposite direction, just as you can speculate in the forward direction. Next, what else no, are you concerned? We know, no, we know. What do we know? Lock, no, we know in people being locked at home increases depression. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay, so can you show, wait? Provide data. Where data? Do you have data? People have committed suicide. In the can you US can provide? Can you pro- okay. Do you have data? Do you have any data, data comparing what? lockdown? Data comparing lockdown to not lockdown strategies and suicide. No one has data. No one has. Uh, okay, so then you data. then you can't make the claim. Next, what else are you concerned? No, about? I can make the claim, but it has what to be factored can you in. What claim can you make? Do you have? Can you substantiate? Can you substantiate your claim? And, actually, yes. I, I'm you, telling you, we okay, have go ahead. Tell me. That, where's the evidence? And Show me. we have evidence that economic recession causes increase. Show. Show. Do you have? We, no. 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 no, no, no. Do you have evidence? Do you have evidence for the suicide claim? Let's go one by one. You claim that lockdowns increase suicides. Do you have any evidence for that? Yes, people are at home. Being go stuck ahead. At home, socially isolated, increases. That depression. doesn't. That's not evidence. Death? That's not evidence. That's not evidence. It increases suicide because they were doing that without the lockdown too. Do you have any evidence that they're doing it more often? Social isolation does not increase depression and suicide. Do you, do you have evidence? It's not answered the question. I'll repeat the question. Okay, I'm do you asking. Have you, does it, that people, does it do, do it you have not? evidence? Do you have evidence that people are committing suicide in a lockdown situation as opposed to not a lockdown situation? Or do you not have evidence for that? Or more often, okay, more frequently? Okay, so you show that you don't have evidence. Is there anything else that you're concerned about? Are you saying it's wrong? I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm saying you have no basis yes, what are for you that saying? concern. For, you have no base. I'm just trying to find out what things you have are concerned about that you actually have a basis just for the concern. Right just I told you. That, I told you. Hold on. Stop yeah, talking you, so much. What I told are you? you my what concern are you? And you're dismissing it because you're I'm saying just, I don't have evidence. I want to know I'm what saying, concerns. Hold I on. want to know what concerns you have that you actually have a basis. I for. just gave you one. No, you didn't Social because you don't have a basis. Increases depression. You don't have. You don't have on, okay. again. It's not social isolation. It's I physical. Have. It's physical distancing. So let's try it again. Because yes, it's not even social distancing. Because you can, you can socialize without being fit. Without you can physical distance and still socialize. So again, let's try it again. No people. Show me data. Practice. Show me data. Show me the data. Show me the data that I iso- that lockdowns increase suicide rates. Are you saying it's not something that should be factored in when you decide whether it's something that should be factored in? I just want to okay. know that it, it but it, it could so be factored with me. That it could be, be no, I don't. No, what? listen, dude, no. dude, hey. shut up. No, for no, 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 shut no, up for a second. Don't tell me. Actually, listen, no, listen, you shut listen, up. Listen. Let me tell listen. you this. 
Hold well, on, no, listen, I'm not listen. listening to you. One second, no, one second. Okay. This. No, wait, so, you listen. Again, you the, point, the point is... Hold on, wait, 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 no. The point, no. Point, the point here no, is... No, listen to me. Is that the point no, no, you, here... Hold the on. point here yeah. is... Buddy, my dude, the point here is is that the fact that it's the factor doesn't mean... And the fact that it has to be factored in doesn't actually mean that it makes a difference one way or other. That doesn't tell us the direction, Okay. It doesn't tell us the direction, direction of, of there will be the direction of if there'll be more or less suicides. It could be that it, all this all turns out that the social isolation, that all the social distancing, that the physical distancing really actually resulted in less suicides. And by the way, when you actually look at the net all cause mortality for previous lockdown measures, for previous economic depressions, guess what? The life expectancy increased; it didn't decrease. And also, when you look at other countries, and when you actually look at other countries who, in, in previous pandemics like the Spanish flu, the the cities that initiated lockdown measures earlier and stricter bounced back economically faster than the countries that were more lax on their policies. If anything, okay, it's sorry. the other way around. Wait, wait, because they bounced back quickly; they didn't maintain it long term. No, That's they. What, what do you mean they didn't? He have that. Wait, do you even know what I'm talking about? Wait, you're saying because they lifted the lockdown, right? And they yeah, they ended up. Do, they ended up doing better. They ended up doing better than. The, no, no, no. The countries that locked down. The, sorry, the cities that locked down earlier and 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 stronger ended up doing better. If not, not only not worse. If anything, they did better than the cities that had more casual okay. lockdowns or lockdown later. Okay, be better in terms of what? what? Sure. Here's the study. Here's the. You want? Hold on. Here's the data. Now, just tell me what better in terms of what in terms of like speed of lifting the lockdown or no? Exactly? I'm talking. It, it was there were economic metrics in terms of how their economy was doing after they lifted the lockdown, right? Not during yeah. The after yes, yes, yes. Yeah, but, yeah. but again, but the, the, that's the long term. The long term outcome was they did better. That's that's the point. Okay, I found actually one article here. Crisis line calls up 50% as pandemic adds to people's mental health mm -hmm. woes. So, cause can you, is it a public? Wait, wait. Can you, what are you reading? Show me what you're reading. I, I, yeah. By the way, I posted the paper on pandemics and, uh, and economic responses. Class to two London mental health crisis lines have jumped 43% and 50% from a month ago because of anxiety over coronavirus pandemic. A director would send Canadian mental health. Okay, is that suicides or not? It's worsening mental health, right? Okay, I get, dude, that's not what you claimed. No, you are such a weasel. That is a nice weasel move. Let's try it again, buddy, my no, dude. I said it Do you have any data on suicide? No, no, no. You said suicides. We're yes, going suicide. one by one. Don't what? give me, don't give no, me, no. give me I'm suicide. Just... Do you have any data on suicides? I could just as easily speculate that more people are getting who need access to the mental health are getting are actually doing what they should be doing and calling. Do you have data on suicides? Yes or no? Okay, let me see. So the answer is just say no. Why can't you just say no? Not at the moment. I'm, oh I'm not saying the data doesn't exist. Are you saying the data doesn't exist? Okay, no, I'm not. Uh, dude, dude okay, so that's what I'm just. Up. What? I'm just asking. No, I'm if saying. If you want to look on. something up, look up all cause mortality of anything. Because, yeah. because all because by the way, if you look up in terms of in terms of these great re these recessions, if you look at in terms of these lockdowns, there's no evidence that this that the cure, quote unquote, was worse than the disease in terms of death. In fact, if anything, it's the opposite. The all the outcome based evidence is not in your favor on this. In terms of what? Like in terms of. Mental so, health, in, depression, and stuff like that? In terms of economic bounce back, in terms of all-cause mortality, not just isolating and cherry-picking one cause of mortality. Hold on. Where, where's the evidence of economic bounce back? All I'm hearing I post, is... It's already been posted. Um, it's um, already been posted. Would you like me the, to post it again in general chat? Check. Hold on. Hold on. Let me check. It's called Pandemics Depress the Economy. Public Health Interventions oh, okay. Do Not. Mm.
Okay, I only see the abstract for this article. It says. That you, was would you like the full? Would you like the full text? Do you have the full text? Sure. Would you like it? Sure. All right. I'll post the full text. Uh, Okay, the full text is in general. Okay, let me check it out. Okay, so I skimmed through the article. It says the pandemic reduced outputs by more than the lockdown, I guess. You there? I'm here. Hello? Yeah, can you yes? hear me? Hello. Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. I'm here, yeah. Yes, and? Yeah, that seems like a false equivalence to me because the 1918 infection basically was all over the population. It it was highly fatal to everyone, including the young workforce. Which do you know that? Wait, do you know? Do you know the breakdown for that? Do you have the breakdown? Pandemic? Do you ha yeah? Do you have the breakdown? Death, uh, the CFR by um, by age for the nineteen eighteen. I think it was in the Wikipedia article about it. I remember there was a spike between twenty to forty, and it goes down and goes back up again at sixty. I think. It's a yes or no question. Yeah, I'm getting it. That's what it did, right? It increased mortality for twenty to forty. Not for twenty for twenty to forty compared to. Um, wait, I don't. I'm on the Wikipedia page of this that you mentioned. I don't see it at all. Okay. Where are you talking? Uh, oh, here it is. You're talking about um, specific death rate. Um, yeah, that's specific death rate. Uh, one thousand per what per. Per 100,000? That's pretty low. That's, yeah, so it's like what, 1%, 1 1.5? No, that's that's like 10 times the coronavirus. 1% one is 10, t 1, per 1 to 1.5% 1 for a case yes, fatality rate. Right. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, so there is a lot I mean, worse. So that you can't say that the coronavirus is going to cause the same economic yeah, damage but, as the pandemic flu. Sure, so sure. You, you're, but it, sure, I, I agree. I agree. That's, that's true. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I agree. But that that being said, um, sure. But do you have? But that's the best data we have now. Hold on. So let me just see the case fatality rate for. Um, let me just look it up by age group for case fatality rate. I just want to get it real. CFR by age group. COVID. COVID nineteen because the work group it actually might come out to be the same overall for the workforce. Um. Because even if it's like 2025 that you're talking, um, our workforce is any, really it's like 60, it's not even 65 and under, it's like 67 and under um, because more people are working later. Okay, so yeah, so fifth, so yeah, 3.11. Okay, so it's, so for 40 to 49s is about 0.4%, I see. Uh, 0 0.2, 0 0.2. Okay, yeah. Um, Sure. So even, but even if you adjust this, even if you were to adjust it, 
Um, like you could even grant a doubling. I I still don't see how you would get around the data though. Like you could even adjust for the case fatality rates by age. And what do you mean get around the data? Yeah, so you could adjust. You can you can adjust for it, right? So you can say like, okay, let's say the reason we're assuming the reason is it killed off the X amount of this workforce. Um, yeah. Yeah, and it, and then you can s compare how much uh, of a difference there was between countries that locked down and didn't lock down, and if they if awesome. they did. Hold on, hold on. One more factor is uh, that was nineteen eighteen, right? Labor was a lot mm -hmm. more important then versus today, which we have a lot of automation as well, so we don't depend on labor as much as we did back then. Well, that would be a bias in my favor then. How is that a bias in your favor? That's a, so the reason it's a bias in my favor is because if you want to make the argument that the 1918 is killing off uh, the workforce, um, and, and we would... It would be more dependent. Oh, actually, no. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. What are you? So, what are you saying? We're um. What are you saying? We're we're dependent on now, as opposed to later. Machines, automation, robots, computers. Yeah, but if that's the case, well, if that's the case, then the then um why the lockdown wouldn't uh you can have just ways of look. If that's the case, then you would just have ways of operating that remotely. Um. No, so was, either way, look, yeah, yeah. Me. So okay, so I take have, look. Here's the so I take yeah. I take your point. So I take I take the point that it may not be this may not extrapolate, but the yeah. point is that the point is even so, um, clearly what ended up happening even with these countries is they were able to recover despite locking down early and strongly. They were able to economically bounce back pretty consistently. Um, that that is tr Which that remains mean? true. Hold on, which ones? You mean this ones for the coronavirus outbreak? Almost you. No, no, no. In in the 1918 flu, oh, oh. which was more devastating, uh, they were able to bounce back from these. Um. So the but the other thing is there's no actual outcome based data for you. Had, there's no actual analysis. Do you have like I'll just ask you. Do you have any other analysis available? Do you have any other analysis that? Because yes, you can always try to make symmetry breakers. You can always try to bring things to the table and say, okay, well, may, this may not perfectly extrapolate to the coronavirus. But again, if you don't have any data to the contrary, then we're just either left at an agnostic position or we're left with something leaning toward my position. I don't, because we're certainly not going to see, I don't think we're seeing anything, any data that leans toward your position. Uh, we're not leading, actually, yeah, that, yeah, do you have data? No, several economists are saying we can make, we have Do you stop? Dude, dude, you got to yeah. stop. I'm sorry. You, you have to stop with what? this. Like when I ask you if you have data, I, w I don't want, oh, well, I heard several. No, 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 no. I don't want, I'm not asking you if you heard several economists say something. I'm not asking you if you heard your mother yeah, say experts. something. I'm not asking if you had, I'm not asking yeah. if you had heard an expert say something. I don't want to appeal to authority. I'm not asking if you had a teacher say something. I'm not asking if you had an economist say something. I'm asking if you have data. Do you have data? I provided you with some data. You're saying it might not extrapolate. Fine. Do you have any data? Data on how long would the recession would be? No, data on data on compa a comparative analysis of co of cities that locked down versus not locked down as hard and showing economic impacts. Do you have any data on it? For this coronavirus? For anything, for anything, for anything similar. For the well, span for the had. swine flu. That's not any, for, for anything no, at all. For anything at all. We've Hold on. We haven't, we haven't had anything like this since the Spanish flu. Like, we, we never locked so, down. Okay, great. So, you, great. Flu. great. So, great. Great. So, no great. So, data. then in that case, so in that case, in that case, we're, we're, we have data on one hand, which may not extrapolate or may extrapolate. We don't know. That seems to suggest the right thing to do even economically is to lock down. And then on the other hand, we have your speculations. That's not speculation. That's expert opinion of economists. It's, it's, they know it, how those things work. What are they? What? Wait, wait, wait. Do you have right. an economic? You, wait. Look, do you even have that? Do you even have an, an analysis of like, a, like an I economic see, consent? You, a consent? You, no, 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 no. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Do you have? Do you have a consensus of? Do you have? Do you have? Do you have an eco economic consensus, like a statement of consensus among economists saying that the right thing to do now is to just like reopen and we shouldn't be locking down and it's going to be the wrong thing if countries that reopen will see better no, economic no, wait, outcomes? Wait, 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 hold on. You're making a statement. It's a question. Saying the economists saying what, we should open. What do you I'm think the economists are saying? I'm saying the economists are predicting there, there will be a long recession. 
as a result of the lockdown and and closures. And and therefore, like, wait, wait. That's not the question, though. There you go. The I question have, is. The question is. Wait. The question is. I have. Will the no, question? No, sh- shut answer. up and listen Can to the question. For, shut up and listen to the question for a second. So the question specifically, because you didn't appreciate the question. The question yeah. is: Will the recession be longer? If will there or or stronger? If we lock down in in terms of if we were because remember this whole conversation is predicated upon if there was a pandemic that was severe enough to require this. Like a, remember, you well, are you because yeah. remember remember tracking because remember tracking the flow of the conversation. This whole conversation yeah. was a tangent based on a hypothetical. The hypothetical was if we had a virus strong enough to require a two year lockdown, could would that be the right thing to do? Then you try to weasel and say, oh, but in this COVID-19, compared to 1918, it's not killing the workers. My reply to that... It's not a weasel, that's a rebuttal. So, no, no, so the reason... Yeah, the, the reason, data, the, that's reason not, the reason, the reason that's a weasel... You posted data from 100 years ago, that's not a weasel. You posted data that's irrelevant. The reason that's a weasel, the reason that's a weasel, I'll explain to you. The reason that's a weasel, the reason that's a weasel, the reason that's a weasel is because this entire tensions of the conversation is not tracking the conversation. The no, tangent, I'm tracking the, the conversation. Here, no, 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 you're not. No, because the I tangent, am, no, the I tangent know. here, the tangent Absolutely here not. was no. you asked me if this, the tangent here was if the infectious agent was stronger. If it was not COVID-19, then uh, when you tried, you are, yes, because remember, remember the asshole. conversation. I never said, the, no, the, I never remember, said. Because remember, I, or I specifically I said, said, no, hold on, if, shut if your mouth. If we needed, if we needed, shut the question your mouth and let me explain. Because remember, okay? remember the question. Hold on, no, the shut up. Needed. Shut nope, the nope. fuck up listen, and let me explain. real quick. No, I know what I said. You are lying. Okay, I'm sorry. It was what I said then. But listen, that's what you said, not what I said. Okay, so then either, said, either way it's a weasel move. I said, because if the tent, we do not, still part of the hold on, no, 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 just All right, I'll let you talk. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. God damn it, you're such a dishonest asshole. Go ahead, what buddy, my dude. Was, Listen, what cutie. I said was, if, if we do not flatten the curve for COVID-19, do you think we should keep lockdowns for months and years? You said yes. Yep. What I, I am if, trying no, to no, say no, no, is, no, no. I said, okay, nope. Now you're strongmanning me. I said yes. If we needed to, in other words, if the virus, yes. if the virus was, if if we're dealing with a specific infection that was not this infection, I said specifically we wouldn't need to do it for this one. But if it w- we needed to do it, meaning that the infection was stronger, then yes, then I would support it. Now, I, I now based on that whole tangent, oh, no. Strong, I brought stronger, you data. It means stronger, like more. It means it will, yeah, more yes, like- more. You could be more, more fatal, more requiring hospitalization resources. Yes, generally speaking, all the things that go along with a strong, with a more lethal virus. Well, I agree with that. Like if we had something like Ebola, great, or like great, whatever, great. Well, no, Ebola wouldn't be Ebola wouldn't to, yeah. Ebola wouldn't be Ebola wouldn't be um, Ebola would be less concerning, and so would MERS. But um, yeah. because it doesn't spread or as much. Spanish flu but, or whatever. Then but I okay, agree, sure, but sure. Yeah, so yeah, the, yeah. so again, so again, so again, so yeah. again, again. This is all a tangent that was based on something that would be more lethal than COVID-19. So you saying, going back in that tangent, within that tangent and saying, oh, but COVID-19 isn't killing these people as much as the 1918 Spanish flu, that's actually not tracking the conversation. Because we're not even talking about COVID-19 in that tangent, in that hypothetical tangent. We're talking about a COVID-19 that would be more lethal or more hospital resource drain. No, I'm specifically talking about COVID nineteen. I'm saying okay, but but in the conversation that you didn't track, we weren't. We we specified that I specified at the very least. Maybe I was wrong to say you specified, but I specified in that conversation that if okay, but I did. And then if you, I'm not not disagreeing with you. If we had something more nasty, okay, but that's but that's but that's what I mean. But that's what I mean. But that's what I mean by you not tracking the conversation. You lost that point. You lost that. You you didn't realize that this was a tangential what? point. Predicate. Yeah. This was a tangential point, assuming yeah. that we were talking about a more lethal version of COVID nineteen. Yeah, but I, I'm not talking about any more lethal version. I'm just saying that COVID nineteen itself is not dangerous enough to warrant 
such okay. a lockdown with the so so right even, well again no one is saying even, no one is saying we're having a two-year listen dude no yeah, one yeah, is no saying we're having, we're having a two-year right. lockdown that's something you pulled out of your ass because you didn't bother to read the publication that you that from a news article that you cited yet you made a stupid facebook post about it let's be honest no, but, but no but you 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 said yourself i told you if if we don't flatten the curve you said even if we don't like you said, it's unlikely. If we don't flatten the curve, I said again. If we don't flatten the curve, what yeah. I said was we'll need a stronger not lockdown. Not that we'll need it for two years. We don't. I don't think we'll need a lockdown for two years if we do it the right. Look, if we're if we yep. do a mid situation, if we do if we twiddle our thumbs, then yes, we're yep. just going to drag it on and people are going to die. That's what's going to happen. And we're not going to get reopen anything. If we do a strong, if we hit it hard, we hit it like a hammer. We do a strong lockdown. We'll we won't need to do it that long. But the problem is people aren't taking it seriously. We have people like you that are encouraging others to not take it seriously or to be contrarian. And you are dis you are part of the problem here. That's what you're making this lockdown longer by what you're doing. Because we're because of the thing the influence you're giving people, because of the things you're posting, people are gonna not flatten the curve, they're gonna drag it out, and because of that, we're not gonna reach a th the specified threshold of surge capacity and we're gonna open later. You're self, you're, you're do, what you're doing is self-destructive. You're, you're in, not in accordance to your own goal. If you want the lockdown to end earlier, don't post this stupid shit. It's just really that simple. And, okay, and if you want the lockdown to be lifted earlier, give us a target. Like, what is the target? What the are tar the goals? Sure, what are sure. The, the tar Yeah, so if we can say, if we say 5 or 10% reason, of police press... Sure, I'm about to do that. 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 So yeah. when we when we reach down to five to ten percent of th of threshold surge capacity, which is estimated, mm -hmm. so the that other it's estimated to happen around. I I actually gave you a month. I gave you. It said June, July. But the but again, that's credit. Yeah, that's that would, that with would, the stipulation. That that's with the stipu yeah. what's with the stipulation that we do this the right way. It's with the stipulation that we lock down the right way, and we all are in this, and we're actually trying to do it, and not post stupid shit on Facebook without reading publication. Well, so what 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 do you think is the right way? Like, what do you think we're doing? Yes, wrong the right way is to really stay stay in your house unless you really need to go out. It's to not travel from state to state. It's to not congregate. It's to wear so what, a mask when you're. It's. To, yeah, I'm giving what, you this. What, hold on. What's wrong with going out if you're by yourself? Why can't you just go out for a because, walk? Because okay. Because inevitably, you you can do that. Yes, but inevit with a mask. Because inevitably, what's going to happen if a whole bunch of people end up going for walks is they end up going into each other and they end up. Uh, they will end up. Like that's just what's going to happen. Limiting congregations, not congregation less, not congregating at all. Um, no one's closing, not essential service. Closing, not it's not illegal to congregate, by the way. Closing, not essential. It's not not in the United States. It's not. There's I don't no know, federal it's here. So I don't... okay, but there's but there but not in the United States. It's not illegal to congregate. Um, don't have social distancing banning, laws, like, we have we have social can't... distancing policies, but there but again we don't have any convictions. No, but people get fined, right, or get ticketed or something. Um, it depends. There can be certain state fines. It's based on state to state determination. There's no federal law for. That. Okay, but it's still illegal. Like there is a no, no. There it depends that. which state. No, it depends which state you're in. Some states it's not illegal. Right, but some some states it is, right? So. And so okay, but that's not yeah. a lockdown. Dude. Okay, but that's exactly the recipe you want if you want to drag this shit out for a little, as long as possible. Like if you want half measures, if you want this is what you need to do if you want to really drag your feet and just prevent going back people from going back to work. Like do precisely what you're doing, what we're doing right now. Do precisely what? What what's being done right now? The half measures. How is it half measure? Like what? More okay, do so you if want? some states, okay, what? If some yeah. states make it illegal, make certain things illegal, and other states don't, and they are and they are congregating, and they are like, they're, or at least they're, they're you have you're, you're able to have these mass protests where people are together, like just recently happened in one state, then that's oh, a yeah, half yeah, measure. Yeah. 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 So clearly, this is a half measure, and and it's not being universally done. That's why we need federal laws and federal policies to enforce this. I don't know. Maybe that's a U.S. issue. I don't know. But of course, it's a U.S. issue. Here. 
Right? Yes, it's US, and, and also, and, and as long as yeah. there's, yeah, it's a U.S. issue, and as long, but we need this to be, we need a countrywide, we need this to be done for, through various countries, because, look, if you want to open borders anytime soon, you're not going to be able to open borders to the United States. That's going to affect your economy, um, because we're just going to be continuing to spread this thing around if we're going to do half measures. It's a, it, it, look, it. All of this is interconnected, and we need to all do a strong measure. We can't do these half measures. Again, bottom line, but, it's the but same. The nothing so has changed. No, there are, nothing. There are limits. Not, like you can't avoid social interactions <sighs> completely. There are essential services. And no stuff one. Like that. No one. Yeah. No one said that though. No one said. But regarding the things that you can control for, we're taking half measures. Maybe maybe some so, states in so, the U.S. I don't so, know what yes, the laws yes. are there. But. Some st- yes, some states in the U.S. absolutely are. That's a problem. That's a huge. Yeah. And the problem with that is that travel hasn't been. It's not like if they take half measures, they're not going to be punished. They're going. They're they're allowing travel from some states in the U.S. to other states in the U.S. So some states in the U.S. that are not taking that are not fully taking this seriously, people can travel just to other areas, and that's and that's allowed. Again, all I would just I would just plead with you at this point. Just stop posting stupid shit. Because this we need to lock down strong and hard so that we can get out of this lockdown. You made a stupid post. You said, Oh, I told you we'd lock down for two years. No one's suggesting that. No one the publication is not suggesting that. It never said it, and it says it do, it says actually something that's not that. So just and and you're you're not in accordance with your own goals when you post these stupid things. People, and if you influence anyone to do this, you're just going to delay the amount of time it takes to reopen. You want to reopen sooner, lock down sooner and stronger, and you'll be able to reopen earlier. That's all I have to now, say. We already have the laws to basically lock down here in Ontario, like 90% locked down. Why are you influ- trying to influence other people to do something that will require it to take longer to reopen? To do what? I'm to not do what? I didn't tell anyone to do anything illegal. So, yeah. To go out and, and if, you assented to going, going, going out, out and infecting going out people. Is legal. It's infecting going, going out, out is legal. legal. Okay, yeah. so yeah, going out. Okay, and not just going out, but in, getting infecting other people in a herd immunity strategy who are young. That's actually a proposal. I'm telling you, it's a proposal. I understand it's a proposal. It's incredibly yeah. stupid. It's going to delay the amount of time. You are going to delay the amount of time. The lockdown will we'll need to be lifted. Like it's just okay. Look, I I'm like it's eight. It's eight forty five. Yeah. I'm ready to wrap. Sure. Um, dude, it's very clear. You it just one thing. I'll just tell you. Next time you post something stupid, at least read the publication. Like yeah, at least sure. read what you're gonna post on because it's clear that you sure. didn't. Okay, yeah, and yeah. and please stop posting stupid shit about this because you're. Yeah, you're just del- you're making it worse for everyone. You're just delaying the amount of time it takes for us to reopen. That's I'm all. On top of the amount, I'm not, I'm not on I'm not top thinking. of on top of the additional deaths. Look, lockdowns work. There's no question about it. Look at the data from Sweden compared to any other Nordic country. And deaths per capita from Sweden compared to any other Nordic country. Sweden didn't take it seriously. They're doing the worst right now. Not a surprise. I thought the U.S. was doing the worst. Oh, <laughs> dude. Listen, okay. You have to compare similar countries with similar countries. You can't just yeah. compare Sweden to the US. That's why we compare Sweden to other Nordic countries. Like Iceland, Finland, Denmark, Norway. You don't compare Sweden to the United States. It's reasonable to compare Sweden to Denmark. Guess what? Similar in terms Sweden's of what? Doing in terms yep. of deaths per capita. COVID deaths per capita. But they're still doing better than the U.S., right? Yes, because they're a completely different country. This the infection. They started their infection later. They have a less population yeah. than the U.S. They're not as pop- densely populated. But there's a they're they're a completely no, different country. Yes, you can't compare the two. No, the point is, oh, dude, dude, dude. Yeah. No, because yeah. you can't compare population density per cap. Population density is not the same thing as per capita. Holy fuck. Okay, look. Yeah. <sighs> You're not under... Okay, look. You want to isolate as many variables except for the lockdown policy if you want to make a fair comparison. That's why it's most reasonable to compare Sweden to other Nordic countries, and it's insane to compare it to the US. Uh, 
I mean, how no one denies like everyone. No one is comparing Sweden to the United States. Like everyone looking at this, even the people who are like who are hardcore against lockdowns are acknowledging the validity of comparing Sweden to Nordic countries and would never try to make the comparison of Sweden to the United. Well, There's a group of Nordic countries with study. similar culture, with similar genetics, yeah. similar people, and they have taken different policies to this. Most I, of I them understand. I understand have point, locked down why, why, one volunteer to be a control. No, I, 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 get, I get your point, but why is everyone comparing different countries like Italy versus Spain versus the US? The versus point, China? I'm, talking, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about this. The reason this is valid is because this, the reason this is more valid at the very least is because. This comparison, specifically, is because the countries are more similar than others, it allows us to exclude many co covariates that weren't previously excluded. There may be some covariates that still exist, but compared to comparing it to, say, the U.S., yes, comparing Sweden to other Nordic countries would be a more reasonable thing to do. And within those other Nordic countries, there may be some countries that match it more. Maybe Denmark matches Sweden more than Finland does. Fine, let's compare Sweden to Denmark. Yeah, I actually agree with that. That makes and sense. And guess what? And Sweden yeah. and sweet and Sweden is and Sweden is by far has the most has the most uh, COVID nineteen deaths than any other Nordic country. In fact, you can add the deaths per capita of all the other Nordic countries combined, and I think Sweden would still be higher. Really? More than everyone really? else combined? Really? More than all the other Nordic countries combined? Yeah. Like, yeah, let's do it right now. Uh, let's see. What are you looking at? World meter? Yeah, world meters. Sweden's 139. Okay. 139 is Sweden. Let's look at them. I don't know if there's any feature where you can filter about geography. Denmark is 58. <clears throat> okay, yeah, I see it. Denmark. Norway is 30. Yes. Norway 30, so that's what, 88? What is? Finland. Finland is 15. Okay. 103. Iceland is, Iceland's 26. Okay, where's Sweden? Sweden? Sweden we already did. That was 130. Uh, 139. Yeah. So if you take the other Nordic countries' deaths per capita and you add them all up, you still don't get Sweden's deaths per capita. Yeah, so Sweden is the worst off. Not just the worst for, off, for like the, by Nordic far. Country. Yeah. For yeah. But like for the Nordic countries, yeah, by far. And there is one thing Sweden did that different than the other Nordic countries did. They didn't take it seriously. They didn't lock down. Yeah, wrong. They're still far from yeah. the level of other countries. Yes, the because the there's country. different... The, yes, but there's different factors that go into it. Like, imagine if the United States didn't take it seriously and didn't lock down. You know how much worse that would be? Like, I dude, yes, they're different... Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you imagine how... Imagine if our deaths per capita just increased to that same proportion. To what, Sweden? Like yeah, imagine if you... If you met... No, dude. Okay, look. Look at the difference between the deaths per capita of other Nordic countries compared to Sweden. Imagine if we took our, if that's the true difference. Like imagine it. So let's just take the, what's the, let's even go with, let's even go with 58, the highest one. Let's not even take the average. 58. 139 divided by, yeah, yeah 139. No, I'm not going to, dude, I'm not comparing. Mm -hmm. I'm not comparing it to the the U.S. Yeah, I'm just looking at the difference. It's a factor of two point three. Yeah, it's a factor of two point three deaths per capita. 
right now in the U.S., you know how many deaths per capita we have? One plus. Yeah. Imagine if we multiply that by two. Imagine if we multiply that by 2.4, 2. Uh, 2.3. Because of the difference between locking down and not locking down. You know how many deaths we would have right now? 200 something, 220. So per capita, yeah. You know how many yeah. total? Yeah, we would have, we would double, we would more than double our, our deaths per capita, and you know, and we would no more than double our total deaths as a result. We we would we would already be. I would already I would already win my bet with Darth. I would already I would already be asking him for five dollars if that if we didn't lock down. What bet? I think about bet. I made a bet with some. I made a bet with someone who was really. Um, <laughs> He was really confident I would lose, and he's going to lose. So oh. he already lost, but yeah. I'm going to win. Anyway, yeah, um, anyway, okay. Look, so the point is that whatever difference, whatever factor of difference that you can infer from locking down and not locking down, if you extrapolate that to our country, it, it, it would be insane. You'd be seeing more than double the deaths that we're already seeing if we didn't lock down. Look, it's just a really yeah. clear signal. It's a clear signal. Yeah. Not locking down is a stupid thing to do in, right now. It's just really, really bad. Yeah, I agree. Like I never said, lo not having any lockdown at yeah. all. Like, and and no one and no one is suggesting. As as yeah, as long as it doesn't last a long time, like months and years. Yeah, and no one, which yeah. no one, no one is suggesting it will. All right, cool. Yeah. Please, okay, please don't, that. and please, okay, please, now that this is over, please don't go back to, like, posting some more stupid shit. Like, please, dude. Don't, okay, don't. Well, we'll see. All right, cool. Later. Bye. Okay, man. Nice talking to you.